In this video we're going to look at how to build and upload an API to Heroku. For this we're going to need the following tools. We're going to need GitHub CLI, we'll need Heroku CLI, Node.js which also comes with NPM, and we'll also need Postman. This is for testing. I'll supply all of these links within the description. We'll also need to create a Heroku account. So let's start off by creating a simple API. I'm using Visual Studio Code Editor for this. So inside the terminal, I'm going to run npm init, and this will create our package.json file. We'll be editing this later. We'll also need to install Express and Body Parser. So we'll run npm i express space and then Body Parser and dash dash save. So they're now installed. If you can see this underneath the package.json file, you can see the dependencies we have body parser and we have express installed. So now they're installed, we're going to create a very simple API. So let's create an index.js file. And inside here, we want to import the express and the body parser modules. So we run const express is equal to require and then express. Then we do the same for body parser. So now we've created that, we can initialize our express application. To do this, we run const app equals express. And then we can tell express to use the body parser. So that's app.use, and then we just have in here bodyparser.json. And this is so we can pass a JSON response back in the body. Now, as we're uploading to Heroku, uh, we'll need to have a dynamic port, uh, which comes from the process environment. Normally, we would just set port to like port 3000 if we're working locally, uh, but because we're uploading to a server, we need this dynamic port. So we have const and then port in capitals, and that will be equal to process dot env and then port and then we have these double lines here i'm going to say 3000 and that's just saying all 3000 if this does not exist so when we test locally it will test on port 3000 and not on this environment port here so let's create a few endpoints so we can do app.get and this will be on the root directory and we'll have an arrow function in here that has a request and a resolution and we want to say res.send and we're just going to send back welcome to the coding nexus api so that's one endpoint created and now let's create a post endpoint as well so we can say app.post and this endpoint we'll call user and as before this will take in a request and a resolution as well so what we want to do is we want to say res.send and we're going to send back an object. This object will have a user and we'll have that user coming from the request.body.username and then it'll also send back an email address and we'll just hard code an email address here for now so info at coding nexus and that's all we need to do for the endpoints. So now we've created the endpoints, we now need to tell the system to start listening on that port that we created earlier. So we do app.listen, and then in here we put port, and then in the callback we'll have an empty arrow function, and we'll console logout server running on port. Then we have the dollar sign, and then curly brackets, and we put the port number in here. So that's the API built. We can actually test this by running node and then index.js and we can see that the server is running on port 3000. So if we open Postman here, for example, and we click send on here, we, on a get command, we can say welcome to the Coding Nexus API. If we also run it on the post and we pass through this username here of Coding Nexus on the body, we can see it returns username and then the email address here. So to get this to work with Heroku and actually let Heroku know what to do with these files, we need to create something called a proc file. And inside this proc file, we want to tell it that it's a web application and we want it to run node and then start. So this is going to reference a script that we're going to put inside of our package.json file. So here under scripts on the package.json file, let's put a comma after this one. 
and we're going to have a new script in here called start and that script will run node index.js so we're now ready to jump into our Heroku account and create the application so let's create this new application here and we're going to call this test API and I'm just going to have CN on the end because coding nexus I'm also going to set this to Europe because that's what's closest to me and I'm going to click create app so this looks a bit daunting but it actually tells us what we need to do so let's run this command here so deploying using Heroku git so we run Heroku login so let's cancel this in here and we're on Heroku login in the terminal. Press enter to open up this login window. Click login and that should log in for us. You can see here logged in and there's my email address there. So we can close that window down. We're all logged in. We don't need to CD into the project. We're all CD into the project down here. So we run git init. This will initialize a new git file for us. And then we can run Heroku git remote and then we can start adding the files to the git repo. So we do git add and then dot. This will add all of the files. And then git commit dash am. Now you can change this. This is just a message. So the dash m here is a message marker. You can make this message anything you like. Uh, when pushing things to git, uh, you should really be making an effort to make this as clear as possible as to what changes you're making. And then we can run git push Heroku master. And this will start to upload the files and build the application for us. As you can see here, it's downloading and installing the nodes onto this application. It's built successfully. It's now compressing. And we can see it's nearly done. This will take a minute to complete. The application is launching. So underneath Heroku here, if we go to the more tab at the top here, we can do view logs. And this will allow us to see the logs just in case anything has happened. Um, here we can see the state has changed from starting to up, so the application's running. And it's also running on port 23466. Now that's coming from the console log that we wrote here earlier. You can also click open application here, and this will open up a front end. So this message we see here is coming from our app get on the root directory here so let's test this application out uh, let's copy the url that's given us at the top here open up postman and then inside our post request here let's get rid of this local host part here and paste in this new url that we have so once we click send it's going to go away and you can see that we get the response here if you found this video useful hit the subscribe button also check out this video on screen now to learn more about JavaScript and thank you for watching.